Hello, friends. Keep my dress drying in the background. Today is... Today is Wednesday, March 16th, and I'm super behind on editing my last video. Not that I have a schedule. I mean, by the time you guys see this, the video will probably already be up. But I just got finished skating, and I haven't skated in a long time. It's been a while. It's been, it's been at least a month, I think. So that was really great and i wanted to stay out there longer but i have other things to do today so i only skated for about an hour but that's still good and it was amazing as usual i love it's just liberating man and i'm so excited because my friend whitney got a pair of skates and soon hopefully we will be able to skate together whitney if you're watching this i got you Yesterday I woke up at 6 a.m. and that felt great because it was really productive. Um, like I said, trying to maximize my day by waking up earlier. But today I did not wake up at 6 a.m. I had my alarm set, so I don't know what happened. I feel good and I'm about to put away my sweaters because I think sweater season is pretty much over. I'm going to keep like five sweaters in my drawer for the chance that it drops below 60 degrees. Time to bust out the spring and summer clothes and I need to get rid of a lot of clothes because I have way too many clothes and it's just ridiculous because I really pretty much wear the same items over and over again, I think. I'm just so attached to so many of my clothes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't get rid of this because what if I wear it with this one day? And then I'll wear it and then I never wear it again. So, <sighs> need to just detach myself from some of my clothing items. I wanted to get footage of myself skating for this vlog, but I was too embarrassed and nervous because I, the, the place I skate is like, basically empty right now and I I mean there is some pedestrian traffic and I just never know if like someone's gonna be like walking by and then try to take my phone or I don't know it just feels weird sometimes to film it but I'm gonna try to stop being nervous about it because it's really not a big deal so hopefully next time I will have skating footage just to make the vlog more vloggy because i feel like it's just me in my face being like hello which is fine but we need more i need more for my own satisfaction watching re-watching it so here's here's for hope next time that i film myself skating okay I don't know how long my phone is going to let me record, but I think I'm running out of space again. I need to finish deleting things off my phone. I just have so much stuff on my phone. It's ridiculous. I feel like I say the same thing every video because I go through the same emotions every day, pretty much. Like, highs and lows. I wore this outfit today, and I really like this outfit, and yet I don't feel confident. I need to get over myself and just calm down, I guess. 
I don't know. I'm just like super insecure about so many things. And I think that's, that's like usually the starting point. Letting my mind get caught up in my insecurities. And I'm just like, I start spiraling and I'm like, wow. Confidence comes and goes in waves. I don't think anyone is confident 100% of the time. And if they are, period, king, queen. But I think for the average person, it's like kind of just playing it by ear, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to mail my friend a letter and... Then I need to do some stuff on my computer, and then I'm probably going to hang out with my mom and watch a movie. And later on, I don't know, I have some other things I need to do. Hopefully I can get them done, like, fast. <laughs> I still feel good about today. I just, like, I don't know if it even makes sense to be... Feeling good, but also, like, in the back of my mind, I'm still, like, mm, all these crazy, like, negative thoughts. I don't know how that's possible. Duality. Uh, I don't know. Today was the first day of spring. I think because the summer starts on June 21st. I think summer starts June 21st and so I just assumed that spring started March 21st. I knew it started in March but apparently it was yesterday March 20th. Did not know that. And I think other people were confused as well. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I actually haven't filmed in a few days. I think the last time I filmed was like of me actually like speaking probably Tuesday. I just wasn't in the best space headspace to feel like filming and I mean I want to film when I'm not feeling my best for like documentation purposes and just like I don't know to challenge myself maybe I don't even know if that's productive if that's something productive to do <laughs> I vacillate between like feeling super upbeat and like positive and yay and then like feeling super down and then feeling like anxious like those are pretty much the three emotions I go through like every day <laughs> anyways <laughs> the weather is really nice today perfect for the entrance of spring it's I think the high today is 81 in my city which is hot in my opinion um but also not like too hot to the point where it's like uncomfortable i wouldn't be surprised if next month we hit 90 degrees at least once and to me at that point summer is basically here so Hoy. i think that's a ladybug oh my gosh it's a ladybug I love ladybugs. I want to grab it, but obviously it's outside. I think it's like ladybug season. I love ladybugs. They're so cute. And then the only thing is for me, like I have a terrible fear of like any bug that can potentially do harm to you. And for California, that's pretty much just like bees, <laughs> bees and wasps, like the common bugs you see. Um, and so sometimes I'll see a ladybug flying around and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I freak out and 
it's because I feel from a distance it looks like a bee but then it comes closer and I'm like oh it's a ladybug and then I'm like yay bottom line is I need to get over my fear of bees and wasps I guess that's all for this segment and I'm gonna go now I don't know if I'm gonna film anything else today to be honest I want my vlogs to be more interesting like I enjoy watching them but I feel like I could enjoy watching them more I saw this interesting perspective on the comments of this YouTube video the self-care movement has been I'm paraphrasing here but she basically said the self-care movement has been hijacked by capitalism because now these companies are saying hey buy our products so that you can self-care and their products are like a hundred dollars and it's like okay well I don't really need to spend that much money to take care of myself but thanks and so it's like kind of creating this distorted um perspective of what self-care is which is what i was trying to i think communicate in my last video was it my last video yeah it's basically what i was trying to say in that video is like you don't have to do something extravagant for it to be self-care self-care means taking care of yourself and it's unfortunate that companies are kind of taking advantage of this and like trying to convince their audience that it's not self-care unless you buy our product and our product by the way is going to break your bank <laughs> Okay, hello friends. I was gonna do an unboxing, which I still kind of am, but I forgot that I wanted to film it, so I already unboxed the item. So this is gonna be like <laughs> um, an unofficial unboxing, I don't know. My skateboard's in the background. Galaxy and Mad Max. I need new bearings for Mad Max because I used one of them for my roller skates because I prioritize roller skating now. Okay, so let's do this unboxing. Okay, you guys already see what it is. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's unbox it. Super underwhelming because I <laughs> already unboxed it. Can you see what it is now? Not yet. Let's take it out. Da -da. It's a disco ball. I've been wanting a disco ball for a while because I have seen other people have it and the way it like catches light in their room and I'm just like oh my gosh serotonin and I just feel like it's my vibe like this thumbnail <laughs> I just feel like this is who I am. I'm a disco queen. And so I needed the disco ball and I will be keeping it for as long as it lasts to put into my future home. And right now it's going to go in my room. I need to find a good place for it where it's not going to get destroyed. But yeah, I'm, here it is. I'm a, officially a disco girl. You can even see how it's catching the light on my arm right now. I love it. I'm obsessed. And this is an eight inch one. The circumference of it is eight inches. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big, like it's basically as big as my head. Wow, I can see myself in the little mirrors. They are glass mirrors um, glued onto a styrofoam ball, which I believe is how most of them are made. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. I was like, okay, should I get the four inch one, the six inch one, or the eight inch one? I decided to get the eight inch one and I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to hang it up and I will show you guys what it looks like. I don't want to 